There also are what we call prophylaxis. If somebody's going to an area that's endemic for malaria, they should take medications to prophylax or prevent them from getting malaria while they're traveling. There are other antibiotics that frequently their physician will recommend they bring along with them in case they get sick while they're there. They can start therapy immediately. Most areas of Central and South America, you should at least discuss that with a physician or a provider in the travel clinic. Um, Africa, Southeast Asia, many parts of the Caribbean, in some parts of the South Pacific, it's probably worth considering. Most of Western Europe, North America, Scandinavia, Australia, it's safe to travel without having visited a travel clinic. But there are certain exceptions to that. I mean, if you're going to an area in one of those fields that has a particularly high incidence of certain infections and you're going to be in a very rural part for a long period of time, it's worth visiting a travel clinic. Most infectious disease physicians, including myself, would advocate that if somebody's going to travel, particularly to developing parts of the world, they should visit a travel clinic first, review their itinerary, review what they'll be doing in those areas, and get the appropriate treatments and appropriate vaccines before they leave.